welcome. You're watching Head to Head, I'm Antonino and Tosha with UHTV. Today we're discussing another scandal involving United States President Donald Trump. On September 20th, the Wall Street Journal, citing sources familiar with the situation, reported that Trump had urged Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky about eight times to cooperate with his lawyer Rudy Giuliani on investigating the son of Democratic political rival Joe Biden. To discuss this situation and more, we're joined in the studio today by Valery Kravchenko. He's a senior research fellow at the National Institute for Strategic Studies. Helen, thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. So just recently, President Trump has confirmed that he raised the subject of former Vice President Joe Biden and his son in July over the phone conversation with Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky. Uh, he now, Donald Trump is facing allegations that he pressured Ukraine to investigate his potential uh, rival, uh, ne next year rival. Donald Trump denies that. Uh, he even said that he will consider releasing the transcript of his call with Volodymyr Zelensky. Um, what's the effect this scandal, political and geopolitical scandal, could put on the relations between Ukraine and the United States, and what could it mean for President Zelensky? Yeah, it, it could uh, be influential, especially if you are talking about the future meeting uh, during the General Assembly of UN uh, between the Donald Trump and Vladimir Zelensky. It's first a live meeting for, for two presidents. Uh, first contact, uh, mm -hmm. for, okay, it will be only for 45 minutes, and probably uh, Ukrainian part, uh, they uh, thought about the longer meeting, uh, or even not, uh, just uh, not a meeting in the coolers of uh, UN uh, General Assembly, and uh, uh, we expected a uh, full-scale uh, visit of Zelensky to United States in October or in November, but who knows what will be happened after this scandal. And of course, uh, as for Ukraine and as for our tactics, we, we have to understand that what is happening in the United States is happening in the United States. So it's mm -hmm. uh, not the deal of Ukraine and we are just a subject for, for such scandal. And um, it could uh, uh, be uh, threatening to bilateral support of uh, uh, Ukraine, but of, 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 from Democrats and from Republicans, in 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 terms of if we will uh, say anything, because it could be interpreted by one or by other side mm -hmm. in favor or on another uh, favor. So we keep, we have to be very very uh, distant, let's say. Mm -hmm. Well, nevertheless, when Joe Biden was vice president, he had influence over the policy of uh, the U.S. relations uh, with Ukraine. And uh, the question is whether Donald Trump actually personally pressed Zelensky to investigate the Bidens uh, in his call or maybe by any other means that he could apply. Uh, whether Donald Trump actually has done that to secure the winning position during the next presidential elections in the US. Yes, of course. Uh, Donald Trump uh, is dreaming about the second uh, term. Uh, and uh, Donald Trump uh, is a hawk, uh, is a business hawk, and uh, it's his uh, manner, not mm -hmm. tactics, but manner mm -hmm. of, uh, of talking. Uh, and. Uh, it was underlined that uh, he remained this topic in eight times uh, about the investigation, uh, about the investigation of uh, um, corruption uh, in Ukraine uh, and uh, in terms of uh, cooperation of Rudy Giuliani, his lawyer to right. uh, Ukrainian authority. Um, I'm not sure that uh, he really wanted to, to, to start a new scandal uh, as, as it started, because mm -hmm. uh, that conversation uh, happened on the uh, 25th uh, July, and right. only on the 24th July uh, it, the, it was finished the previous story with the uh, investigation of uh, Prosecutor Mueller mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. about the influence of uh, Russia on mm -hmm. the previous elections uh, in favor of Donald Trump. 
and it was a victory, by the way, uh, of Trump uh, right. uh, the, um, that uh, um, that deal. So uh, I think that uh, in uh, these conditions uh, we could expect uh, uh, the struggle uh, and uh, the issue of impeachment. Even we are talking about now, and uh, a lot of uh, mass media uh, translating the signals, uh, but. Uh, we could say that it's not the first time uh, we are talking about the uh, probable impeachment for Donald Trump. I uh, just uh, would say that uh, in the beginning of this year it was um, an issue also uh, linked with the uh, building of the wall mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the uh, long period of blocking uh, for executive authorities uh, uh, working in, in the United States uh, from the side of uh, uh, Trump as a kind of blackmailing mm -hmm. and uh, in the previous years it was also the topics but uh, it's di really difficult to implement because mm -hmm. uh, there, uh, there is a necessity of two-thirds of uh, all voices in Congress uh, and if uh, for example in House of Representatives the Democrats could uh, promote this issue uh, in Senate uh, the Republicans have the majority and uh, of course, they have a loyalty to Trump, uh, to, to the leader of the Republicans uh, and to the leader of the United States. So it's not an easy issue and uh, it could uh, work even in favor of Donald Trump if it will be initiated on the lower level and supported even in the House of Representatives and then it will be cancelled, banned by the Senate. Uh, the incident, uh, it, it happened uh, more than 20 years ago with uh, Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky mm -hmm. case. It, and it, it, it was the, the same story when the House of Representatives initiated uh, that uh, investigation uh, and that uh, procedure of impeachment. And then it was uh, cancelled by the decision of the Senate. So, uh, and uh, it was uh, a rise of popularity of Bill Clinton. Uh, and uh, it was uh, uh, the procedure which uh, play, played in the favor of, of, of his uh, um, of popularity uh, as a president of the United States. So, uh, well, I guess vice Donald versa, Trump yeah. is popular enough already yeah. <laughs> <laughs> without those PR campaigns. Anyway, um, here's what Adam Skiff, the chair of the Intelligence Committee of the U.S. House of Representatives, had to say about the possibility of Donald Trump being impeached. He tweeted this uh, on his Twitter page. He says that if the reports about President Trump's conversation with Ukraine are proven true, that impeachment may be the only remedy. This seems different in kind, and we may very well have crossed the Rubicon here. So maybe this scandal would be the one to actually have done it, although we never know. Anyway, our president, uh, Volodymyr Zelensky, is getting ready for his official visit to the United States. What should we expect from it? Uh, I believe that uh, in that conditions, uh, it's, it's the wrong tactics for Trump, for example, to escape from meeting mm -hmm. <laughs> with Zelensky, because it's, it's not his manner. Uh, but uh, uh, for sure, it will be most uh, um, of protocols. It, it, it will not be a, a lot of meanings in that uh, short term meeting mm -hmm. of 45 minutes. It's not so much. And uh, especially regarding this scandal, and uh, unfortunately, it's beaten uh, on uh, efficiency of, of such meetings. So yes. about about the agreements we uh, expecting uh, to, to 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 receive to achieve, and uh, by the way, uh, a lot of issues uh, linked with uh, United States support of of, of Ukraine. So it's. Uh, Sanctions, it's uh, military assistance, mm -hmm. and it's, it actually was the issue of the, the scandal. What about the expansion of the Normandy format? Mm, I think that uh, it's not the time for Donald Trump to seek for such decisions. Uh, maybe uh, on the level of experts, it's 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 right mm -hmm. uh, choice. But as for Donald Trump and for his logics, uh, he is preparing for elections and. Uh, any track uh, which are linked with a controversial uh, foreign policy, uh, which is uh, not having the easy decisions, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, not the right vector of, of, of uh, implementing of such a political campaign. Mm -hmm. So um, he have to concentrate on the internal policy and uh, what uh, he is ex exactly is doing. 
And um, in that conditions, uh, uh, unfortunately, the other issue could be a uh, missed uh, issue of our relations with the United States uh, and uh, with Europe also. It's a North Stream 2 and mm -hmm. uh, the support of this uh, uh, North Stream 2 from the Germany, for, for example, for, from European countries. We made a pressure together from with the United States on that issue. But uh, who knows uh, how it will be uh, when the Donald Trump saying uh, about the purchasing of Greenland uh, 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 concerning the Denmark and Denmark the only country which uh, locked mm -hmm. this issue of building the Nord Stream 2. So who knows? Uh, it's Donald Trump. Well, the world, let's keep the intrigue, let's say. We'll have to wait and see what happens next. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank you. That was Valery Kravchenko. He's a senior research fellow at the National Institute for Strategic Studies. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned to TV for more. Yeah.